Now the first step is to simply restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check. Next step is to make sure that your graphic card is supported to play the game. Also install the game on SSD. So you can go to store page and you can check the system requirement. Make sure that your graphic card is supported and here you can see SSD recommended. So try to install the game to SSD and then check. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now this is important. So you can open Windows settings and then go to update and security or Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Also Windows 11 users, make sure that you update your Windows to the latest version. Right now the version is 2.3 H2. So you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Copy this link and then open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now. Run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and let the update complete. If there is any update, you can click on update or install and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Windows 10 users can use this link and I think the latest version is 2.2H2. So you can go and then click on update now option. Again, run this exe file. Click on yes to allow and use Windows 10 update assistant. If there is any update or install option, install it then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game that may help you to fix direct x12 error now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so make a right click in the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then close this launch the game and then check it's still not working this time you can type in dash d3 d11 and launch the game and then check still not working type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working type in dash d3 d12 and then launch the game still not working you can remove this empty this box and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website select product category for me it's geforce now select the right product series so for me it's 30 series so make sure that you select your series and then select your graphic card now once you select your graphic card select the right operating system and then click on find and then you will see the latest driver so right now it's 561.09 and then click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete after the installation restart your computer and then launch the game now for AMD users, uh, first of all, uninstall the current version of graphic card driver, which is installed in computer, uninstall it, then restart your computer, then go to AMD website, select your graphic card, make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system and then go for installation. After the installation, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. So type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse over here go to the game installation folder if the game installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder now open the game folder and then open windows folder now over here you can see the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance over here click on save Again, click on browse and this time open forever winter folder binaries win64. Select this exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance, now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to now desktop users, 
make sure that you connect your monitor to the dedicated graphic card. So just connect your HDMI cable or display cable to the graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. If your computer has a dual graphic card, one is Intel, other is AMD or Nvidia. In that case, motherboard has the Intel graphic card slot. So do not connect the HDMI or display cable to the motherboard slot. Connect it to the dedicated graphic card slot and then launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. Now, for this, you can go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number. Make sure that you select your model and then go to drivers and download page or software page and find the BIOS. Download it, install it, and then update the system BIOS. But in case of laptop, when you update the BIOS, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case it's 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to delete the config folder when you delete the config folder all the saved settings will be lost so if you agree you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items then open app data folder now open the local folder and then here you can see forever winter folder open this folder open saved folder and then you will see this config folder when you delete this all the saved settings will be lost so you can make a right click and then click on delete once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check you can even rename or delete the save game files but when you do so all you will lose all the save game progress you have to start everything from scratch so if you uh, agree you can do this now you can create a backup first you can just create a backup or go back here you can see forever winter make a right click 
you can copy this you can paste it to the desktop just create a backup now once you have a backup now you can make changes so you can make a right click on forever winter then rename it to dot old or whatever you want once you rename it now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can even delete the save game files but you will lose all the game progress you can delete it now launch the game and then check now the next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100% complete launch the game and then check next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder open windows folder and then just make a double click try to launch the game from here if that does not work go to properties first of all open this forever winter folder let's perform the steps with this exe file make a right click select properties and then go to the second tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working go to properties go to the go to this tab put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working go to properties go to this tab and then this time select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working this time put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then go back and do the same thing with this exe file first of all put a check on all these boxes on the all the boxes run as administrator and all that hit apply launch the game if that does not work you can uncheck all the boxes and then launch the game follow the next step now next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you are using windows security then now i am not using any third party antivirus so if you have any antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever whichever antivirus program you are using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program or you can come allow the complete game folder to the exception list of that particular antivirus program i am using windows security so you can open windows settings go to go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 in windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on manage ransomware click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allow app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder windows folder and then select this exe file first and then click on open. again click on add and allow app browse all apps open this forever winter binaries win64 select this exe file and then click on open and then you can launch the game and then check also allow this to the firewall type in control panel go to control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings on the top click on allow another app and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder windows select this exe file click on open click on add in my case this is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this forever winter binaries win64 select this exe file click on open now click on add in my case uh, the game is already added so once the game is added to the firewall now you can launch the game and then check so in my case it is already added so let me put a check over here let me allow to private also now you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website scroll down here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so download this x86 and then run this exe file click on click on it now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install in my case it is already installed it's telling me to restart my computer please ignore that error again run x64 file download it and then run this exe file 
Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install and let the installation complete. Now once both are installed, then a restart your computer. You will see a restart option like this, but make sure both are installed and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have wheels, hotas, pedals connected, disconnected. If you have any kind of USB adapter or dongle connected, disconnected. Sometimes we have extra controller connected to the computer, disconnected. Try launching the game on single monitor, disconnect multiple monitor setup. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Steam overlay, disable it. Make a right click on the game, select properties and then turn off overlay over here. Also, if you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, you can go to Discord settings and then turn off overlay. If you have GeForce experience running, go to GeForce experience, click on the settings and then turn off in-game overlay. So, or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also, if you have if you have any over overlocking application running like MSI Afterburner, River Tuner or any kind of overlocking application, just close it and then launch the game. Also, if you have undervolted, you can be remove the undervolt. Next step is to if you're now the next step is like you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode and then you can lower down graphics settings. So launch the game first. Now, once you launch the game, uh, you can go to options, go to display. Now over here, if everything is set to ultra. You can set it to high, you can even go for medium or you can even go for low. Now you can set the window mode to full screen or you can you can switch to window mode. Now you can lower down the resolution like if this is set to like 4K, uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p. Uh, you can even lower down more and then check. Now dynamic resolution, now if this is on, you can turn this off and then check. Vertical sync, you can turn it off. If it is already off, you can turn it on and then check. In my case, I will keep it off. Now frame rate limit, I will set it to 60. And here you can see the rest is in medium. And then once you make changes, now you can check the performance. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on uh, Uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.